Coach Lou here, back with another film breakdown. Monday Night Football, Ravens versus Raiders. Amazing game. It was crazy, down to the wire, okay? So, if everyone knows my videos, if they see my past videos, they know I believe the Ravens can take their offense to the next level with two-quarterback RPO system, okay? And you also know that the Raiders got a guy on their roster who could be one quarterback in the two-quarterback RPO system, okay? And let's start right now. Raiders, third play of the game. The guy I think that can run it, Marcus Mariota, okay? He's proven, you know, he, he's probably a backup, fringe starter in this league. That's it. But I believe in two-quarterback RPO system, he could thrive. So, Mariota's in. Carr's still on the field. This is what we're talking about, people. It's right there. It's right there. You just got to call the play. So, here we go. All right. Got their huddle. Break. Derek Carr's going out to receiver. Woohoo! Mariota's in the backfield. Okay. Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. You can line these guys everywhere on the field. Okay. Let's play it together. All right. Here we go. Motion with rugs. Oh, little triple option. Little triple option. Mariota's going. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, what would I add? Very simply. Okay. I would just switch two players. All right. Sorry, three players I would switch. Number one, Mariota's not quarterback. He's where Josh Jacobs is at. Derek Carr is still quarterback. Okay. And Josh Jacobs is over here at Ren Renfro's spot. All right, Hunter Renfro. Hunter is over here split wide receiver, okay? So now, this is what we're doing. Same exact play. Wide zone left, triple option. Motion rugs across, okay? But instead, if Mariota was the second quarterback or the running back where Josh Jacobs is, once if he takes this wide zone, now he could throw a route to Renfro downfield and even rugs on a quick five yard out. Okay, Derek Carr still runs this read option, but now he can pitch it to Jacobs, who I got over here. All right, so that's how I would change. Now, if they had a second quarterback, it would just be Josh Jacobs' guy. I mean, yeah, we could make Josh Jacobs throw the ball, but you would have Derek Carr running downfield. So that's not the smartest idea, okay? But this is what I'm saying. You, miss, you mix those three, four guys around, same exact play. You add a route downfield by the wide receiver or where Derek Carr is at. And you got the two quarterback system. All right. Amazing. Great. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. You can run it right now. Here's the next All right. Play. Now we got Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Okay. So let's play it two, through together. And then, I mean, you should already know by now what I'm going to say, but let's see it. Okay. So here we go. Counter pitch. Ooh. A little tricky, tricky. Okay. Cool. All right. So they do the counter. Hopefully getting this misdirection away. All right, they're reading, they're, they should be reading the end. He should replace it down more, okay? But you know what I'm going to add. I'm going to add one route, okay? One or two routes, especially how it ended up. I'd probably just add one route. One of these two receivers has to have a route. Now, look, this guy, I would say block, just because most dangerous is right here. Even that guy's most dangerous, okay? And then this guy run a route. So here we go. Let's play it together. All right. Crashes, catches. I mean, he has time. He has time if he has the ball here to throw it downfield to this receiver. Okay. Now, since the Raiders look like they're playing man, he's not open. So then he should see that. See that it's not open. And go and take the run. All right. Take whatever yards he can get. All right. He got two or three yards. But the idea is we're going to consistently get those DBs to back off. So then our runs start hitting better, all right? He, maybe he breaks that tackle next time or we get a better block at the line of scrimmage or something, all right? Now, on the other side of the field where they had the tight end, the other receiver, you could add something for Lamar to see, like a pre-snap, like, look, if you see this, outnumber them, or whatever, take it, all right? But for the most part, all you'd have to add there is one route from a receiver downfield, and there you go. That's You got the two-quarterback RPO system. And this is where they got the athletes. Uh, they got the other quarterbacks that can run this, Trace McSorley, uh, Tyler Huntley. So mixing them up where you put those two guys on the field with Lamar, put Lamar at that running back position. He could, he does it. I mean, come on. The Ravens can really get creative in the two quarterback RPO system. All right. Here's the next guy. Here we go with another play from the Ravens. All right. They got a two by two. Let's run it together, but it's an inside zone. Throw a little bubble to Hollywood Brown. They get zero yard. Okay. Whatever. Fine. Okay. So 
Play it one more time. All right, watch the line. Okay, now it is a behind the line of scrimmage pass, so it's okay if the line goes downfield. But this is what I would say. All right, I'm gonna back up just a tad bit. I would tell this guy, this second quarterback who's coming back in the backfield, he could throw that. All right, I know it's an inside run, but to me, that basically just turns into a speed option. So once that guy gets it, if he can see out of the corner of his eye, if he can see those linebackers coming, those outside linebackers to his left, throw that, that bubble, okay, where that speed option pits to me, all right, and then that guy can run. Or, or else, you know, if the guy was handed off the ball, the second quarterback, if he's handed off the ball, just take the run. But you should be watching if you have that advantage to throw it out there, okay? To me, you had time. The corner backed off, the safety was blocked by the wide receiver, hopefully, and the linebacker really was free, frozen, okay? So you would have time to throw it out there, okay? Okay, it's looking like a, just an episode on the Baltimore Ravens, okay? So here we go, Ravens again. Their heavy look, all right? Inside zone, as you can see, okay, with a little power. Sorry, it's the power, power trap. All right, you, you already know what I'm going to say, okay? Either this fullback or that tight end, give him a pop pass, okay? Most likely this tight end. He's already going to block, so instead of blocking this linebacker, just keep going, okay? He has time where if that, line, that tight end was running a route down the middle, I mean, this linebacker's committed here. The line's doing a great job staying at the line of scrimmage on a run play. Where, if that tight end, instead of being here at the line of scrimmage, look at all this open grass. Look at that. Five, ten yards of open grass. And we're all just asking to do a little simple pass right there. Okay, so, I mean, you don't even have to have a second quarterback. Your running backs can do this easily. Throw a little pass on the line of scrimmage, all right? Reading it's the harder part, but it's there. It's available. If that... Tight end just ran down the middle of the field looking for the ball. That will clear out these linebackers, at least one linebacker. So then you would help with the run if it clears out there because that's one less guy in the box. All right. I mean, he more or less helps on the tackle there. So instead of, you know, having a linebacker make a tackle, let's run him off. Let's run off two linebackers, even the safety. So then our runs hit bigger. Okay, here we go. Another Ravens one. I'm telling you, it's a Ravens episode. So here we go. Two by two. Motion to a one by three, bubble. All right, and we're going to the races. To me, it looks like they were just telling Lamar, throw this bubble, it'll be wide open. Not wide open, but you got the number of bands, let's take it, okay? But if this second quarterback were to give him the ball, okay? I'll go back a tad bit. I want you to watch the line, okay? Here, they did a bad job. We would tell them, you know, coach him up, what's better, okay? This guy ends up two, three yards downfield. Okay, see, he's one, two, I mean, he's getting to three. He's at the line of scrimmage. But if he was given the ball, the blocking looks doesn't look horrible, where if we added a five yard out or a 10 yard out, now that corner on the top of the screen in this corner right here, okay, we got him, all right? We, we either have him coming up to play the run where we throw the pass or he stays back and you hit this big opening. I mean, we got a pretty good lane for the run there, okay? So that's all we would add in this little wide zone to the left with the bubble. Add wide receiver at the top with the route, okay? And Here's going to go with another play from the Ravens, all right? Pistol, strong look, all right, flex top receiver. Here we go, let's watch it. Counter, Lamar fumbles, okay? Shit happens, all right. So you already know what I'm going to say, okay? I'll, I'm cool with Lamar keeping the same read to, to run. Just sometimes make it easier on the quarterback, just run it, all right? It's just that this was the same quarterback, and we got this counter going to the right, Okay, look how much grass and how they're playing. Okay, if he play, runs a slant right here in this cover three look from the Raiders, if he was given the ball, all right, if he was going full speed on a slant, there is time for that guy in the backfield once he was given the ball just to throw it. Lyman are at the line of scrimmage, doing a great job staying right there. Lamar's got two lead blockers, which we're perfectly fine with. Okay, so all we're adding is top of the screen, slant, Especially in this cover three look from the defense. I mean, they're playing back. They're playing off, okay? So second quarterback, if he was given the ball on the counter, throw that quick slant right away. Catch it, look up, one, two, throw it. It's out. You got time. All right? Here's the last, last play by the Raiders. Total RPO, but they're doing it just to give Carr a very easy completion, which I don't know why more coaches don't just give their quarterbacks more completions, just making it easier on them. Okay, but here we go. Play it together. All right, wide zone, lock left. 
low glance route or slant route by run for all. Okay. They got, they got big yards. All right. He almost got eight, eight, nine yards. So here we go again. Catch and pitch. First down. I mean, he got 12 yards, you guys. Oh, go backwards on forward Lucian. So guys, you could run it more. They could run it way more. And now, you know, what I'm going to say back here with this wide zone lock, if you were to hand it off, you can have Waller still blocking. O-line still does the same thing. Route downfield. That's Ruggs. That's Henry Ruggs. Okay? I'd give him a hitch and go. That man is so fast that he has time to sell it. And then Jacobs, or if this was Marcus Mariota in the backfield, would have plenty of time to read it. Here we go. Line doing a great job. I mean, he kind of even does it. He jogged out a little bit, a little, little skip. All right? And then he just blocked his guy. But if he went full speed, it's 4-2, whatever speed. Okay? Now you got something, you got easy completions, you got big play, you got easy completions to the right. You can take the simple run, or you got a deep, deep downfield shot, all in one play. Okay? This is a beautiful thing of the two quarterback RPO system. We're just taking what the defense gives us. Whatever you want to take away, we'll take the other. We're fine with that. Okay? We know that we'll get big plays, explosive plays, more and more consistently than any other offensive system. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the Monday Night Football edition. Okay, the two quarterback RPO system film breakdown. Plenty of games. All right, much more. We're loving it. Football season's an amazing time. All right, I'll see you guys later.